four, a three, a two, one. Hey, yo, it's your boy. I turn. I was just begging with me on, but this time I'm reacting to and have my thoughts on Project Ask Askos. I'll not pronounce that, but this is made by the same person who's like, I guess, a co-host of YZ Productions. I'm gonna call her just the one half of YZ Productions. Shower Dreamer 55. I'm just gonna call her or CDR 55. So let's get into this video. Welcome to the world. This, my friends, is Project Ask Us. Okay, so you live in New York. This video is inspired by a Pokétuber called Mr. Buddy. And his oh, I love Mr. Buddy. I love that channel. Oh my god. <laughs> So far, he's made videos based off of Greece, Australia, Scandinavia, England, Italy, Egypt, and technically Ultra Megalopolis. So today, mm. I want to put forward my own interpretation of Romania in the context of the Pokemon universe. Okay. I'll be talking about the locations, all the new Pokemon that inhabit the region, and the stories that could take place in the region. I'll also be talking about <laughs> Okay. I'd like to see a few disclaimers. Number one, okay. this video is not meant to be theorizing on an upcoming video. I need to some Pokemon content to my channel now. Okay, I'll just wait. Mm. Oh, hold on, pause, wait. <laughs> I love this design so much. Look at this butterfly, hello? Yo. <laughs> This design looks amazing! So I think it's finally time to kick off the video and talk about my two year old Pokemon concept, Project Atlas. Hey guys, I'm Geography Teacher CD55, and we're going to be starting off by teaching you all about Romania's geography. Fun, mm. alright? Yeah. Romania itself is the first largest country in Europe, and it borders the Black Sea. It's around halfway between the North Pole and the Equator. So temperatures vary from plus 30 degrees in the summer to a freezing minus 30 degrees in the winter. That is in Celsius. As well as in the Pacific Ocean. Romania is neighbor to Moldova and Ukraine. Okay. I'm learning history right now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Arceus! The god. Or else I'll be in Okay. Each of these regions has some distinguishing features of what makes the cool locations for my place in the region. In the east, the mountains are made of parallel regions that are the southeast. The 
Um, mm. 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 The eastern section is also covered with a ton of forests. Around 32% of the country woods are there. In the south, we'll see the highest peaks and more than 150 glacial lakes. There's also large grassland areas with some forests, and at higher elevations, there is a bunch of snow. You know, I don't actually get much snow where I live, so the whole town freaks out when we get over an inch of snow. Oh. Enough on how my town weather sucks. Finally, in the west is the lowest of the three ranges. They are the most densely settled, and the more permanent settlements can be found at the highest altitudes. That's enough about mountain ranges for now. This is probably giving you a brief overview of the type of geography and landscapes in my region. Okay. Let's move on to what pretty interesting Pokemon can live in each of these. I just. <laughs> I just had like a whole history lesson and I, I regret nothing for watching it. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Look, I don't know if you're watching this in the future, but like. If you ever make this into a fan made game, hit me up. Hit me up in my social media. I will not mind making the play drill this. I don't care. I will not mind. Oh. Next up for the grassland areas, you will be able to see the Rattata line, the Starly and Fletchling lines, Eevee, Ralston Failure, Toga Demaru, the Sandtree line, the Swabtree line, the Chikorita and Journey line, the Sea line, and the Zuma line. In the mountainous areas, you will find the Skidoo line, the Rockcliffe line, the Zubat and Norbat lines, the Youngest line, the Mudbray line, the Jolstick line, the Rufalant, the Machop, Timber, and okay. Rockcliffe lines. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. I love, I love a lot of Frostlands. This my, I love that mine so much. All right. Guard shop, man. Ah, oh. I, I love that mine. I love Flygon. Mm. Finally, in the water areas, there will be the horsey line, the man type line, the Oh, wait, Pyrus not on here. I take that back. I love for alligator. I love my lick. The Is that all? Dang, that was fast. Yo, um, <laughs> look, but seriously though, hit me up. If you ever make this into a ROM hack, I do not care. I would definitely make a less play of this. I really don't care. Please hit me up in my social media if that ever happens. And like, send me the link. This is episode two, Towns of Locations. I, I already thought I'm gonna like this video too. What's oh, this music? This music sounds good as hell. Yo, Shar, where'd you get this music from? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm Okay. 
Next on your journey is to Pazza City, which is based off Rosita. You know what? I'm before I actually, I'm sorry for pausing, but I don't care. And this is a shirt. You uh, look, sorry. You need to make that into a shirt. That evil team needs to be a shirt ASAP. I don't care. And if you do make it a shirt, please hit me up in my social media, please. I I will buy that shirt. I will buy that shirt ASAP. Jimba would be here, sitting inside the old room for the castle. Mm -hmm. After obtaining your first gym badge, you can make your way towards oh. the town, based on Albert Ulia. Albert Ulia is a historic way of the city. And by extension, you have a sense of the Asgard region. Dovno Town stands out from the others, and the entire city is a white star. I took some creative liberty. Okay. This is where the terrible Poke Dracula was rumored to live, alongside his equally evil Pokemon companions. The main buildings here would be a big library based on the Bathenium Library and a lone abandoned castle sitting on a large hill nearby, which is said to be the Dracula's Castle. This town would also be where you have your first encounter with the evil team of the region. The path now splits into two, but due to some construction work going up on the eastern path, you head north towards Travka City, which is based upon Zalau. Travka City is situated at the base of the western third of the Carpathians, and like Hemera City, has a big square at the center. Points of interest include a history museum which doubles as the gym, and a tennis court where you and your Pokemon can play tennis together for fun. In this town, there would be some old army barracks, a golden hotel based upon the Golden Crow Hotel, and a train station that can take you across the Carpathians, but the guards say that they are closed for now and won't be open until you complete the seventh gym. Oh. you beat this gym here, you make your way back towards Dumbo Town. Okay, alright. I'm much is done and you have your third gym badge. You can now take the eastern path towards Bobney City, based upon Sibiu. Sibiu is one of the most important places in Romania, and is situated almost in the center of Romania and Asgard. This area has a bike shop where you obtain the bicycle, and there's a large park where you can ride your bike to your heart's content, based upon the Subarini Park. The Pokemon daycare is in the city too. You would also encounter the evil team again here as they try to wreak oh. havoc. After dispelling the situation and collecting another gym badge, you take the cable card through the Capacity of Mountains towards the next town, Pyrrhonica, which is loosely based upon the result. In this town, I've decided to take some creative liberty again and overhaul the medieval aesthetics of the Vax. Everything here is based upon the Vax Library, which 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 is based upon the Vax Library, House, you can continue forward and perhaps take your water Pokemon along with you. Next up, you approach this region of capital, La Mesna City, which is based upon Romania's capital, Bucharest. This giant city, I imagine, will be similar in scale to your Nova's Castelia City, and this city would look pretty western to pay homage to its influence. Here, there would be a massive building where the region's president lives, based upon the palace of parliament, and many, many streets full of shops and activities. I'd like to think that amongst the shops would be an ice cream shop where you can get a gift of vanilla items and Castelia cones, a berry shop where you can obtain many rare berries you wouldn't usually find in the region, and a museum full of all the mini games of past generations which you can try out, such as the berry blender, popping making, bottle flip, and Pokemon dress up. The game corner games would also be here, but they won't be accessible to the player as they have to be over 18 to play them. The giant building I mentioned before would also double as the Pokemon gym in the city, which the president's wife runs. Oh. The outskirts of town, however, is a dark mansion, plugged up by many members of the team. I guess we'll get back to that later. Mm -hmm. After collecting your fifth gym badge, you can see oh. multiple jobs at town, which is loosely based upon Flavovia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There seems to recently have been an earthquake here, but 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 you can make your way towards Metrosny City, mostly based upon Botishani. All right. Oh. Telling you to make it towards the Mesna ASAP. With your newly acquired flight technique, you can make your way towards the Mesna once more. Once you reach Capsule again, a scene has broken out. The evil team has taken over the city, and you must go in there and match into Stockholm and make you. Look, Shari, that's like something I never would say. I'm sorry, but that. I'll talk more about it later. You had best of the mythical Pokemon cool design but this one this one right here i love this one right here <laughs> okay first off i just saw the pokemon i feel dumb as hell let's see let's talk about it. this is gardevoir look i when i tell you gardevoir is like my top five pokemon that vault is the very first one i ever call him sapphire that's the last one i have a mm, it's sun oh my god i love this mine so much I, this is a Snorlax, okay. Oh, I get it. This must be the Psychic Fairy one. This must be the Poison Fire one. This must be the Normal Type one, which I honestly can't stand Normal Types. Because these things have no wings but fighting. I used to hate that as a kid. And this must be fighting a dark. Oh, they all have Mega Evolutions? I right, say less. Say less. Sara, please hit me up. I do not care. If this ever becomes a family game, please hit me up on social media. Sandy is going to be way more toxic in this game. I <laughs> don't get it. Hey, bars. Okay. Alright. So, <laughs> I love that they all just in the look. Mm -hmm. Pokemon journey. Whichever one you choose may change the way you play from the game entirely. The dress type starter is called Terror Seed. 
Whoa, 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 wait, <laughs> but petrol seed? Okay, overgrow, oh, all right, all right, magic guard, it flirts from tree to tree, collecting berries and breaking hearts, so, <laughs> this is basically a crab brawler, this is basically a crab brawler, but if it can fly, this is what I'm getting, Grass is psychic? psychic? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hold on. The finest torch like Tills can heal up to over 1,000 degrees Celsius? I. Okay, while they're dark, I mean, all right, look. It has strong jaws and hitting ability. Okay. <laughs> it has strong jaws and hitting ability. It's like my lyrics in Coral. We said the bottom of the ocean and it's only egg during the nighttime. Oh. And it's water dark for its whole evolution line, from base into Waloka and then Blue Polka. It's quite the bully to rob a Pokemon, as it tries to defend its territory from attack. However, this Pokemon will be extremely loyal to its trainer. Alright, now that you've been introduced to the starter, try to ensure the descriptions of the rest of the Pokemon to save it from getting too repetitive and to save my voice. Oh. Next up, the regional variants. Like Alola and most recently Gala, oh. Ascos has regional variants of pre existing Pokemon, giving the new types and gimmicks. Let's go for them all. Well, wait. <laughs> Look, no offense, but I honestly cannot stand electric types. I'm not knocking on your design, but I really cannot stand electric types. The sound of these Pokemon releasing electricity from their force sounds like a sparkle. Okay, look. <laughs> okay, I like that. Said he, oh, okay, wait a minute, okay, all right, I love Urshan design, so you're going to enjoy stealing gems and other trink, yo, <laughs> what, fire dark, and it's, hiding the ability is flash fire, okay, all right, <laughs> okay, Garatina, okay, Whoa! 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 What is this design? Hello? Whoa! 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 Look at Mega Alden now. Whoa! Whoa! And it's Dark Ghost, so it's just toxic. <laughs> Wait, isn't there another? Bro, I just this is a spirit tomb type Pokemon. Spooky bedtime series. I told the children about this Pokemon to warn them to not be cruel. Due to this, many all of have taken residence in kids' closets to fill up their fears at night. What is this Monster Inc? This design has to be. This ex entry has to be based on Monster Inc. I'm haunting, intimidate, trickster, ghost type version of Swarm. Oh my God, ghost! <laughs> this Pokemon is kind of toxic. This part shows to a mega revolt. A science experiment to change Odinus typing took place a few years ago. But the experiment went wrong and ended up turning the ordinary into a dark type beast who loves making fun of others. This sadistic nature worsens when it mega revolves, even towards the people who are grieving over their lost ones. Asgardian Ordinal is also the matriarch of a new state of condition called Terrified. When a Pokemon is terrified, it acts like a mixture of attack and confusion when they have a chance to not attack. The catch with them being terrified is that once you have the status, your Pokemon will be so scared to move that you can't switch out. The Pokemon effect will redeem their spirits after an amount of time, or if he uses special item on them to heal the status. Asgonium, Marip, Fox, and Amphros. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Pokemon with a patch. This is actually my top 10 Pokemon. I'm a huge fan of Marip. I'll, oh, I love this mine. Grass, okay. It has chlorophyll. I'm gonna have to catch that. Yeah, it's cool. For the fruit that these Pokemon bear is used in herbal painkillers. Oh, it tastes very pleasant. Okay, they want plenty of plenty of full harvest, so y'all spot them working on farms alongside hairy, hair readers and regular reaps. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh. Whoa! Medicines that are used to cure all sorts of foods and aches. When they were evolved, they even have the power to soothe trauma. They have a handy companion for therapists. And for people who mega are scared of an order, no has been taunting. It's getting them rougher and brave. Bravey Army? Whoa! Whoa, what is this design? Big pecs, loyalty, dazzling? Do you like to store precious games? Pe <clears throat> Precious gems in their plumage. The one with the most expensive looking gems is seen as the leader of the flock. They like to store precious gems in their plumage, and the one with the most gems is seen as the leader of the flock. This Pokemon also accesses Max Scott Bird, representing freedom. Hey. Wallaby, no god. Lightning Rod? <laughs> Not only is it half steel, half flying, it has Lightning Rod. Oh my god, this is this is a toxic typing. This ability is kind of toxic. You can't beat this. They hone their honey skills to absolute perfection and strike their prey without warning. They are able to crunch through bone like nothing. What? What is the laser pin? What? Playing types. These are definitely my favorite ones. They hone their hunting skills to absolute perfection and strike their prey without warning. They are popular in the media and are used to represent gangs or delinquents. I guess they would be good friends with Galari and Zuckerberg, man. Ascanian, Sunpan, and Sunflora. Look. It says Chlorophyll, too. Hey, hey, yo. Solar power? At, mm. These Pokemon are rumored to be able to, doing, to bring pan like What? Where have I heard that from? I feel like I heard that from a t in a TV show. Every farmer knows not to disturb these Pokemon as if they do a drought is sure to spoil their crops. Bring dead plants back to life. The story of Ah, oh, my child! I love Absol. Whoa! What? What? Where? I swear I saw this design from somewhere. Big Peck's intense anticipation. These women love the smell of freshly cut grass, and they have no understanding of rules. Due to this, they tend to bring into people's houses using their sticks as keys. What do you far fetch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello? Kamaus and Calmera, normal and normal dragon. Whoa. It's half dragon? Oh my god. I already know I hate this Pokemon with a passion. <laughs> it's normal half dragon. <laughs> no way. This Pokemon can adapt very quickly to all sorts of environments in a recent experiment was found to serious. Oh, it serious DNA of my child. Eevee, oh my lord. Calamara Sentinel. Tail can attack even when knocked out. Whoa, this mine is toxic! And it has attrap and speed boost. No, no. <laughs> oh, cuddlings. Okay, box cuff. The hell? What is merciless? It is unknown as to why these women wear shackles around their limbs, but strings do not seem so impact as movements at all. <laughs> so basically, you're telling me that not only that it has shackles, they move freely. Those shackles does nothing. Okay, I would hate to fight this thing in the wild, and it's dark still. All right. Coulter, who? Coulter, mm, I'm not going Bug Dragon? I hate bug. I have a. You know what? Besides Joltik, I do not like bug types. And. Sorry, what? Slappy lowers the special tag of all fair types. <laughs> what? This is just a toxic mind. 
These Pokemon cover themselves in strong skill as defense against predators and spit sp silk balls at Pokemon who invade their territory. They're extremely fluffy and are the perfect partner for kids too young to become trainers yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not only does it have swarm and magic bounce and, and iridescent, it's half bug, half dragon when it gets larger. Okay. What the hell is, what is that? Water ghost? These Pokemon hunt sunken ships, being on kelp and algae. It bodies, it's bot. Mm, I cannot read. Its body looks like bones to the ter, the ter. Other Pokemon from eating it, as they believe it is, is already dead. But I promise you, those bones are just flesh that looks like what? <laughs> Hold on, pause, pause, pause. How do you have Drizzle and Switch Swim? <laughs> I would hate to fight this man. Of course. Ooh, ooh, stinger. Water absorb and is water electric. Okay, all right. Imagine this thing had water absorb and water absorb, and it can extend this thing up to five feet long, zapping its opponents with a powerful electrical blow. It can also spin out around at high speeds, firing off electricity as it goes. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. I might have to look at this. I love poison types. The mist they use to attack can cause dizziness and fatigue. And it's believed that if you inhale it, you'll be able to see the feature. Okay! However, the mist is very. <laughs> You gotta be the first step, not gonna lie. Not only is the mist, you can see the feature, it can be toxic! Hello? Oh. oh. <laughs> it has huge power and pure power. Those jackalopes were so sick of being bullied by other Pokemon, they decided to drink some. Hold on, pause. What? They did what? Wait, can I swear, can fairy types just kill fighting types? Oh, okay. This just wants to be. T this wants to have double time. All right. Now they'll kick you in the face. <laughs> I'm getting can revives from this Pokemon. These little jackalopes were so sick of being bullied by other Pokemon, they developed muscles and started kicking their bullies in the face at absolute no you. They're now very territorial. Oh, and no you? Oh, 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 my, um. Hold on, wait, wait. It's electric ground and has lightning rod. Oh my! Imagine this thing had water absorb too. No, that'll be even more worse. Dynamo increases speed. Increases speed each time this point by using an electric type move. Hello, roll dynamo stores electricity in the organ of its tail, which acts like a dynamo. The dynamo organ spins when the rolled rod dynamo is using an attack and excess electricity from this is used to increase the speed exponentially. I probably read that wrong. <laughs> Psychic dark, psychic fairy, and psychic dark. Hello, and it has it mm, iridescent, and it has soundproof. These space cats, ooh, space cats, you piqued my interest. Come in two different forms, embracing the light of the sun and the dark of the night. They love to the stargaze and get easily distracted at night. True, true, true. Split evolution line with the sun falling over the Hey, bum, 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 bum. What's in the studio? Bum, 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 bum. This space cat loves stargazing, so they can 
get easily distracted when battling during the night time. This Pokemon seems to get them on the world with two fairies, so this theory is that this Pokemon actually came from space. Tree Batten Free Treat. Rust Dark Tight. Oh, Tread Beat Fret 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 Treat? Big Pegs? Okay. It has Moxie! <laughs> Okay. Due to how these Pokemon used to steal people's sweets on Halloween, a new tradition was made in Escos, where kids would save some of their candy from trick or treating and then give it to the local fruit treat population. Let's just say that both parties get along a lot better now. Vera frightened the swallow. Ooh. Oh my god, it's. Oh, hold on, pause. There's a. Po it's Flame Body and Poison Hill. What the. Yo! These Pokemon dance around during the night, putting on beautiful light shows in hopes of attracting a mate. Oh. A fire in their bodies will allow them to glow so brightly. It lights up the night sky to make beautiful light shows using the fire organ inside them to create light. They can make their lights shine brightly mm -hmm. with the tear of the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and to make it run for it while their opponent is recovering. Oh, wait a minute! That music kind of... Uh, <laughs> Ice fire? And it has snow warning? What? These rangers... <laughs> Rangers have evolved over time to gain the ability to heat or cool their body to extreme temperatures, causing their horns to glow white hot cold. Alright. Mm. How do I pronounce this? Precise sneak by Cobra Lape. This is what laser pin is? Still says poison solar power slash sniper. These put my head on this power from the sun using their helmet to fire high power lasers at opponents. So not only that, it's still poison. Wait a minute, it's, hold on. I just realized, isn't poison immune to steel? And psychic, it still is immune to psychic, which means it's four times affecting its ground. All right. Snakes with a laser focus so good they can shoot down foes with one blow. They draw their powers from the sun with their large wings. Vicious fights usually break out between the serpent and Escodian Mandibus, be it over food or territory. Cindy Capola. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dragon flying. Is this, um. What's that thing called? Is this a Hydra? They live high up on mountains amongst the clouds. <laughs> Driving in Zyph Zephion, who fly into their territory. They are worshipped as bringers of the rainy season, bringing a plentiful harvest to crop. Based upon Romanian dragons, this creature resembles a flying hydra. People had totally spread a rumor that an Alolan horse of the would have necks even taller than even Alolan executor's neck and Galarian Weezing's hats. Zephion and Buzzion. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on! They read magicians, those items are points from attack. Okay, alright. Chlor radiant, chlorophyll, radiant speed, and sunshine? What? Using its fillers, Buzzion consists of some modest music which helps it to steal honey. From unsuspecting Combi. <laughs> it went so bad for Combi. Zephion jumps from cloud to cloud without a care in the world. This one is able to control the weather with gusts of the wind. Two new Eevee wizards who are flying and both respectively. Zephion controls the weather with powerful gusts of wind, and it's said that if you see one, you'll be granted with good luck. Zephion, however, likes to steal everyone's honey for itself, as it loves sweet treats. Strangely, Zephion and Fruit Tree like to help each other out.
Electric flying. Okay, I know that electric flying. Cleansing makes summoning a cleansing mist for fighters. Any attempt to change the Pokemon stats will be inverted. And the legends, M M P oh my god, here goes another name I can't pronounce! Impermani was said to have the power to cure all illness and resurrect the dead. However, it only does this to people it deems pure of heart. It only, it wants food to disguise to bring prosperity to the land. So I decided to make a kid like Griffin, a legendary mix of an eagle and a lion. Just transplant. It's Dusk of bats and dusk of truth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on, pause, wait. Not only that is dark flying and dark ghosts, it has an ability that doubles up fake of status moves. So, this one might just toss it. Not only is it a spirit team, it's just toxic. All the tales told about Dusk Gala depict is as cunning and mean, it's been shown to be rather compassionate. It seems to confine chaos rather than created, which has unfortunately led to mean bad superstitions. Oh, ooh! okay. All right, look. <laughs> this might be my favorite design. Very dark. Anger point. A fuddle. Attacks with secondary effects will always affect those. Uh, mm. Okay, you know what? All right. <laughs> oh my god. Historically, Dieter Monarch has been a Pokemon primarily used for both good and bad reasons due to his power to change reality itself. Oh my god, it's basically Diagon and Pokia. Oh my lord. I never really realized. For, bro. <laughs> oh my god, this is the world of mother region? This Pokemon is actually not native to Akko. It's coming from a faraway region where it's just a common Pokemon. Fullabub loves to make friends and explore, so it's recommendation that its trainers brings it to see the world. I mean... Fullabub, a cheeky electric okay. somewhere outside the Akko's region. A shiny one is given to you after beating the fifth gym. It loves to play tricks on people and likes to make lots of friends and see new places. Okay. Of the chaos unfolding in Amog, and decided to try and stop Blink the Chaotic's horrible rampage. All right. He was able to find an Impalmony who had fled many years ago in fear, and successfully defeated the Tyrant King, dispelling the darkness, and becoming the president of the newly named Askos region. Now, finally in the present, the region has slowly turned back to how it was before, oh. the Tyrant King now long forgotten. Yes. Over the last 17 years, Askos has turned more industrial, while still paying homage to its ancient history before Blake assumed the throne. 
The champion and elite four of the ring, however, still leaves this for their namesake. Look, um... Look, sorry, this is what you need to do, right? You should make your character, like you, as, like, an actor person. Like, now you have AZ as the guy after, um, X and Y, at the, um, epilogue. You should make your character, like, you have to fight her right after the, um, credits. I'm just saying, I think that would be a cool idea. I'm just saying, I don't know, sure, I don't know. Take, please take my idea. I do not mind. The president took over all the political stuff so they don't have to worry about it. Therefore, the elite foreign champion in Ascos are a lot more laid back than other regions and need to step up to their duties. Okay. Hello? Is this the mom? Is she the professor? Hello! Whoa! Whoa! This is Sun and Moon! Yo, <laughs> I love Sun and Moon the fashion, man. I'll be sitting with your train card today, and then later I'll head over to yours to give you your Pokemon. So, uh, are you a boy or a girl? Sorry, it's just that you don't have your webcam on. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> I don't mean just, but I'm a girl, call me Jamosa, Shining Jamosa. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, I'm not playing again. It's nice to see your face. Wait, hold on, pause, wait a minute. Is this character 12 years old and working out? <laughs> Does she learn to wait? <laughs> what is this design? Does he lift weights? <laughs> oh my god. This is like she's been lifting weights. Uh, wait, what's your name again? Her name's Jamosa. That's a nice name. Uh, now, player, are you ready? Your own Pokemon journey is about to begin. Yes, I am. Now, go on, player. I'll see you in a short while. After the small introduction, I want you to the Professor. This is when you, the player, start the game in Cerebus Town. I begin with the player characters the names Jet and Coral, respectively. Oh. You and your mother live in an apartment on top of the local library that your mother runs. Okay. The game opens up with her and your family pet, Venary, waking you up, and reminding you that today's the day you'll be heading out on your Pokemon journey. As Whoa! In the library, there's an open book on one of the tables, which tells a condensed version of the backstory I okay. as a little Easter egg. <laughs> After worrying your mother slightly, you set towards Route 1. But okay. Wait, oh, you got the sudden build music! Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god, I just realized this is a Sino reference. Like with Dawn and Diamond and Pearl. Yo, yo, Shara, I see what you're doing, Shara. I see what you're doing. I see you. I see you, Shara. <laughs> you tell her she doesn't need to apologize, and she gathers up her Pokeballs again, shaking you in your mother's hand. My name is Hazel. I'm the junior Pokemon professor here. I'm taking over for my dad today, so I hope I can be helpful for you. Player, right? It's nice to finally meet you in person. I have three Pokemon here for you to choose from, and one of them can become your very first partner. Go ahead, choose one. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I'll need the brag, but man, look. I don't care. I picked the grass and flying. I know I'm not playing the game, but I'm picking the grass and flying. You pick your starter Pokemon, and the junior Pokemon professor waves goodbye as she makes her way back towards her lab. Your mom nods and turns towards you. She seems nice. That's a good Pokemon you picked out there, too. You want to test it out in a battle with me? You're thinking about it, but you oblige. Is your mom a rival? With your mom. On her team, she uses her banana. She has a banana! Oh my lord. She laughs and apologizes. Aw. I'm sorry we weren't able to win, Banana, in that fight. Player, you're amazing, you know that? <gasps> yo, this is a Gen 3 reference! Hey, yo, I, um, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. 
I love this. I love what you're doing with the story and the design of the Pokemon. Yo, yo, shout out to Shar. Shout out to her. I'm putting her link in the video, her, the link to her channel in the description below or as a pinned post. Pokemon is great. So why don't you take the Pokemon to I know you'll have a lot of fun, sweetie. You give her one last hug goodbye, and you finally take your first step on your Pokemon adventure. As you approach Hemory City, you bump into someone again. Instead, a boy in a purple hoodie glares at you coldly. Oh, what's up, bro? Apologize quickly for bumping into him. What's up, bro? This hoodie is a strange emblem you've never seen before. Oh. <gasps> is that Glay? Yo, this is Glayon. Oh my God, Glayon, is that you? About to change this world for the better. What's up? Okay. That's no, that's end. That's end. Or is it Glayon? Or is it both? What's up, bro? Bro, I will beat you. I'm sorry, but I'm acting like I'm playing the game. And all the president cares about is politics. Oh. Nobody really cares about this region besides me. That Gen E reference? I'll be the one to bring about the change. Oh. You're slightly confused by this young Right, like who are you? Challenges you to a Pokemon battle What's up? to prove how strong he is. Okay. On his team he uses a Rhyhorn and the star says it's strong and Rhyhorn? Oh no, he has a Rhyhorn? I can't lose. I'm the one who can change things around here. Yeah, 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 get out of my face. Remember this, player. This will be the last time you defeat me. He runs off, slightly embarrassed, and he drops it shiny on the ground. You pick it up to realize that it's a spark in the stone. Oh. Before leaving, a random NPC points you towards Hazel Trap. Oh my god, I hate these NPCs! Similar to the seasonal research lab in Unova. What you do is you can sit in a spot in a hole. And it waves at you to come over. Hey, players! Sup? Sup? Oh, wait a minute, but I'm getting in! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
being angry at you, at least begrudgingly. No, come back, Quint! Nah, bro, I want, I want all the smoke. Come back. He runs back into the building, and after battling two gym trainers, you finally reach him. On his team, he uses a plus one and a minor. You easily defeat him and earn your first gym badge, the Atom Badge. As you travel into Dublin Town, you hear a ruckus from the square. Get out of the way. Alright. Is this an admin? What? Why is there X is country? No, look, I'm not meaning to like bash on people with country X's, but like, I don't know why I find that so funny. Everyone runs inside and make your way towards the two points individuals who glare at you. Warning you. This is Tommy Spikefully Hours. With us, our old, we are hometown. We won't allow anyone to interfere. You're suddenly pulled into a fight against the two Team Dusk Gents. All of Team Dusk use a mixture of Dark Ghost and Rock types. On their teams, these oh. have a Geodude and a Mercro, respectively. After being. Geo. Ge first off, Geodude. <laughs> Kill my beast with a Geodude. Come on now. Mercro? Actually, I'm a huge fan of Mercro. Being defeated, they sigh. This one's. The screen fades to black and fades back to reveal the town has turned back to normal. A random NPC gives you a normal type Z crystal and thanks for- We got Z crystals? Oh, let's go! They mentioned that the gym leader in the next city, Craig, has been collecting sparkling stones recently and might give you one after you defeat him. You make your way towards Kravka City and are beckoned to the tennis courts to try out a free game. This tennis mini game is unlike the super training inside of Oraz, as it can increase one of your Pokemon stats, so it's worth playing if you want your Pokemon to become stronger. Afterwards, you get a phone call on the Poke Gear your mom gave you. It's Professor Hazel. Hey, player! I know what that sparkling stone is. I've got one. <laughs> Badum, 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 badum. All right, run, run it, run it. What's up? Strong Pokemon, okay. Toxic. So they have a toxic role? What? Ghastly? I love that mom. I mean, I, well, yeah, I love Gengar. Oh. The boss. The head honcho. Are, are you an admin? He's beating up all my troops. Yes, I am actually. I'm here to stop you right in your tracks. What's up? Right, right, why are you a Pokemon? I don't care. <laughs> you again? Oh, here we go. This is in. This is in. This is in. In a nutshell.
Wait. Well, well, what's her team? Ooh, okay, that's not bad with team. Hi! <laughs> How is Team Dust already back? Like Team Dust is relentless. I love her hair. What? I will destroy you. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we beat her so bad that her glasses fell off? <laughs> okay. You are police? Whoa, that's a plot twist. Page. Hey, thanks for the free bike, man. As much as possible. We'll make sure Team Dust never gets the information I know. You take the bike to the office and wait for Bias, the two of them work on a plan to beat Team Dust. You take on the team leader here, Orchid, who has an Estonia Flappy, a Magolas, and a Rose Ray. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, what's this team again? Rosary, okay, I like this, I mean, okay, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I actually only like seeing as a Rosary and Mary, I'm sorry, I'm so biased. Again? What are y'all doing here? I still need that Pokemon, you hear? Go and find out where it is. Guess who's here, Lars? Sorry you had to see that, Toya. One of my fellow friends lost a husband. Oh. Surely be terrible if went on a rampage. How irresponsible. Right, I don't like you. Yo, this is definitely in. This is definitely in. What makes you so 
I'm well. I mean. Yep. Is that the main character? Oh, 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 hold on, pause. Look at this team. Y'all got a ride on. A Bravey Ari. That's the other starter that's strongest yours. A Lincoln Rock. And a Laboratory. What is this team? This team is OP. Right on. I just go out to the Oh, that's a nice scene. I like um Best for Quinn. The second one and the fourth one. Not really a fan of um Matum. Afterwards she gives you the same thing. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
right. There's a mansion. Oh, a rainbow key. Was that a rainbow key stone? You're happy that you've made him see reason. Um, um, wait a minute, here we go. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> he has a bag of amagros, a magnezoom. That later serpent I know is already OP. Bravery already in bronze zone. Okay. What's up, Hazel? Oh. The grunts run away and you both make your way towards the dusk mansion, oh. taking on the grunts around the city on your way. You leave a leave behind mm -hmm. the one grunt that made while you siege the mansion. Um. When you enter the mansion, you immediately meet up with Paige and Team Dusk Grunt, who you battle to keep up the route. Oh. On Paige's team, she has Weavile, Mismagius, and Rampardos, while the grunt has Mudsdale, Crocodile, and Rodynamo. Recognizing the Rodynamo, you realize that this isn't any old Team Dusk Grunt. It's Professor Spruce in disguise. What? And a very good disguise at that. Oh. So Hill. I, yo, I got you. I'm the main character. I got you. So, not only did I start the like wars, this guy's the best of mine too. Oh my! Oh, you know what? Okay. No wonder he has so much control of the grunts. No wonder why he told you to come here. Now you know that you have to stop him, no matter what. After the two undercover agents asked Who is this? Oh, that's that one guy. He mumbles something about how he feels bad about being nailed and stuff. This machine will make sure nobody knows that he's the machine. It's like they did with his father all those years ago. Let me test if you are truly the one destined to change the world. You battle Admin Paul for the final time. His team consisting of a Mega Asconian Ordinal, Midnight Lichen Rock, Moonform Galastra. Look at this team, man. Yo. <laughs> Look at this team. OP team, bro. Yo. <laughs> We're just gonna. <laughs> oh, man. And Foxcar. After defeating him, he nods. Hey. As Boyk was defeated by Trent, he abandoned his only son oh. on that day, seventeen years ago. Lassa was alone in the world, only having a sparkling stone he found as a comfort. And as he grew up, he became bitter and cold, angered by how people just ignore him. He determined one day that he shall not be forgotten no longer, and formed Team Dusk out of other people who felt they were outcasts from society. And Lassa swore that he would change the world one day, so it worked according to his ideals. And that's why he used the power of oh. Germanog to change his dreams into reality. You thank Paul for the card key as you leave, and take the elevator that he points you towards. You meet up with the other two undercover agents, however, the two of them stay behind, knowing that only you can defeat Larsa. As the elevator door opens, you're met with a giant throne room. Oh. Mm. Well, well, well. Yes, I have. What are you doing? I'm here. Relax, relax, relax. I'm here to stop you. The only Pokemon power I need is the power to change reality itself. 
Um, no way. No way. He just killed my mines. She killed the two Show me what you're made of. Alright, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh my. <laughs> what is this team? What is this? What is this team? What is this team? He has a Mega Larvitar, that um mythical, the starter, the Braviary, and um, I forgot what that first mine is actually. I'm not gonna lie. He uses Riparian, Midday Lycanroth, and Mega Tyrannosaur to start destroying against yours, but Skinny and Bravery had to tail him out. Eventually, you managed to beat him down, and he falls to the ground. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Harmony and are now awake again. We prepare a powerful attack together to teach Lata a lesson before you call out for them to stop it. The two legendaries turn towards you, glaring as you boom, boom. Know, despite what Lata did, he still boom, a friend. Let's go! Main character vibes, man! The screen faces black again, and it seems a ladder has appeared outside the snatch window, which you can climb down to make the mansion quickly. But before you leave, you notice something sparkling on top of the throne. It's the next stone for a skinny and ordinary. Anyway, as Professor Spruce said, the H.T. leader is now back, so you walk on over towards Moldopter again. As you make your way towards the team leader, he chuckles. <laughs> Man, I know I can do something important. Mm -hmm. You always sleep out more. Mm -hmm. Sorry for making you wait. My name's Gorgon. This is your last gym battle, right? No harm done by pounding the dust. Mm -hmm. On your day's team, he has a Kingdra, a Jelly Guerrero, a Politoed, Sharo, Mantine, and a Feraligator. Eventually, he falls to you, giving you your final gym badge, the Bone Badge, and the Wartanium Z. The mudslide has also been cleared away now, so you can progress towards Rosilla Resort. At the resort, you meet a mysterious girl around the same age as Lata, who introduces herself. You're player, right? I've heard a lot about you. My name is Amber, and I've got the Pokemon Champion. Perhaps you will be the one to change the game in the Elite Four series, isn't it? You should have been there to help you to teach the dusk, but we weren't. I sincerely apologize for that. You tell us with no hard feelings, and you smile. Mm -hmm. Alright then, let's see if your ideals match your beliefs. Journey down the road ahead, at the end of your final season, <laughs> your strongness will meet again. You accept your challenge, and travel down mm -hmm. for three boats, battling all the trainers you meet there. Eventually you make it towards the Pokemon League. Your team already, it's time for you to... Player! You turn around mm -hmm. to see Professor Hazel, running up to mm -hmm. meet with you. Congrats on making it this far, players. I'll be cheering you all throughout. Am I fighting? Why should be the champion? Why should be the champion? I'm calling it now. You 
look around and suddenly a strange mist begins to waft around the arena, a mist similar to misty terrain. In front of you magically appears a man, wearing clothes of royal with oh. A guard of what stands behind him, using its psychic powers to mm. astral project mm. mm. What's in the studio? Wait a minute! Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. What's up? Yeah, you can call me crazy, but it's time to fight me high. The old king who's communicating from inside the distortion world. Okay. The distortion world? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Not only does he have the ribbon bee, the electrifying of Swoobet. That um fairy type witch thing in the reindeer. Do you have a mega god of war? What is his team? As his mega god of war, a Sylveon, Feybreak, a Skonia Smooba, a Rabumbi, and an Insta Witch. Um, 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 to let his god of war rest, and you traverse up the mountain to the next room. Mm -hmm. The arena is surrounded by hot lava, and a girl stands at the other end. Go, my fiery team! Charlotte's team consists of a Viswallow, a Delphox, Talonflame, Mega Blaziken, Magmortar, and a Salazzle. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What is up with this team? Hold on, pause! Whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> Delphox, Talonflame, Mega Blaziken, Magmortar, and Salazzle? Sorry, are you trying to make us lose? What is this team? You defeat her and climb the mountain once more? Going into a completely different room than the ones you've already seen. In fact, this looks like someone's bedroom. On the bed sits what you think is the only four member, and she yawns. Uh, do I have to do this? <laughs> Nonchalant. Oh no, see, look. <laughs> this is what we're not gonna do. This is why I hate normal types. She has a Snorlax, a Slacking, a Kangaskhan, and a Mega Lopunny? What is this team? <laughs> a snort, black, slacking, a kangaskhan, a sword book, a calmera, um, and a mega lock. Um, um, um. After beating her and letting her go back to sleep, you have one more fight left to go. The next room is no, 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 no. Hello? By a candle that the elite oh. holding. Are you a ghost type? The room suddenly lights up as the other candles on the wall. Or a dark type. Dark type. <laughs> yes, I am. Alright, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? Bring out your minds. Mm, you know what? This is what we're not gonna do. A Zorwark, a Mega Houndoom, a Mega Houndoom. This grass slime, Umbreon, or is that Grass Fairy? Wait, she has a Grass Fairy? The bear, and um, I don't know what the other one is. No, that's Urshering, but I don't know what the last one is. All of the elite four now defeated, you make your way towards the champion's room, which is at the top of the mountain itself. A windstorm is buffering against you as you walk up the stairs to the top, where Amber stands. Not that long ago, I was on my own Pokemon journey with my Azumarill in Genova. When I lost to Iris, I was crushed. But Trent Ascos told me up one day, saying he saw my potential, and that he was establishing a Pokemon League here in Ascos. I agreed to be his champion and moved here. I thought that I was the strongest trainer in the world. I had to be if I was blessed with such an honor as this, but now it seems I might not be the only strong one in this region. She closes her eyes in court, and then opens them again, fury in her eyes. Proves to me that you deserve the honor of being a champion! Oh, look at the music! Hey, 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 hey! Uh, hold on, pause, wait. So she doesn't have a mega belt. Hold on, what is this scene? What is this scene? What is this scene? You have a zoom roll, which is fairy water. You have a superior. I'm not scared of that. I swear to God, if this Golipede, I swear, I swear this Golipede at speed was, I mean, really mad. This is a bug type. Argonite has fire. Excadrill. Steel ground. And Ridiculous. Yo, this team is actually really good. I don't think I can beat the leaf for <laughs> Eventually, you're able to strike her down. The strongest trainer in Afghan now officially being you. You bring 
due to the Hall of Fame and roll credits. Well, not really. That's the main story of the win, but there's a few things in the post game which can still do. When you start up the game again, you will get a letter saying that the president has a bunch of Okay. As you travel back to Lamezna, you'll met with a somewhat familiar place. The president, Trent Ascos. Your Why does the president look so creepy? <laughs> with these dated by him as he looms over you. G'day, player! Congratulations on becoming a new champion of Ascot. I'm sure you'll be an inspiration for years to come. How is my daughter there? Oh. Well, that was the perspective, was it? <laughs> You're confused, but he simply laughs before explaining that he was the previous postman professor of the region before his daughter Hazel took over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her daughter. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shot. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I should have never used him. I'm sorry. <laughs> that my father was such a horrible person. But I promise. That I changed for the better. Thanks to the player. This chocolate's still dead. Hey. Is that you? Well, wherever I end up going, I'll still come back here every so often. And then we can have a battle. All right. You laugh and nod and launch into his graveyard, which he flies away on. Oh, nice. After making your way back to Wait. <laughs> If this dude's taking on the gym challenge, I just realized this is gonna blow back the first eight gym leaders. <laughs> we'll blow back every gym leader because this team is so OP. Oh, the smells at this checklist. Oh, I see you pulled back into this before. Well, you're back here every so often. In short, now you have the option every day. Trade Trent for the other legendary to use on your team. Before you leave, Trent that you should do the Ezekiel for both the Chakra and Impomni, which powers up Impomni's Rainbow Wave to Chromatic Purge, and the Chakra's Chaos Wheel to Devious Dawn. After you've completed the post game, you can travel back home, where you meet your mom. Hey, Earth! Welcome back home! You're the strongest trainer in the region now, right? Yeah, I'd like to see how much you've grown. So it's alright, you're not going to be able to try. 
were taken aback by the sudden challenge, but you were blind, starting your final Pokemon battle once again. With your uh, again? What's up, Mom? How's it going? What's your team? <laughs> Shara, do you... Sorry, I feel like you just love having train um the players just in pain. Like these teams are OP. Uh, low punny. I don't remember that in Gold Duck. Mashana, a Mega Metachamp? Oh no. Oh no. Mashana, a Mega Metachamp and a Pokemon you've never seen before. After battling it a little, you're able to figure out that it's a fairy type. But your mom explained that it is a It is episode six. Part three story and characters. Place you saw your mother, but Jim. Wait, who's in the studio? Bum, 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 bum. Ah. Whoa, Lunalis! <laughs> yeah, just lucky guess. Restricted area? Oh my god. Mom, what? What type of mom is this? What type of mom is this? Oh. Of your presence, and it seems slightly angry. 
before you care, a telepathic voice. Come on. Oh. Get away from me. You stand your ground, and the oversized lizard glares at you. I won't even make you. I'm at the fight him. And you're dragged into a battle against the legendary protector of Rivo. Out the rip, like beginning of the game. Capturing it, so you use your fancy new master ball to guarantee the capture and add Venomous to your team. You smile as the cave starts to open up to the outside world again, and you clamber out. You show your mother the successful capture, and you hug her goodbye before heading back towards Cyber HQ to take down Wyatt once and for all. As you walk into the lobby, you notice K A One standing near an elevator, blocking your path. I apologize for the inconvenience, but this elevator is completely out. Oh, I mean, this hold on, pause. How do you already have a bronze? I just started the game in a Zangus. Say such a thing, Claire. My father is doing something fantastic here. He's going to make sure that you, I, and Nina can be friends forever in a world with no war, suffering. Don't you want that? Don't you want the place to stop? Don't you hmm. want to be happy? Of course I do. Oh my god, okay. This is this is one of these stories where we are conflicted as a character. That's actually not bad with story. Yo, Strara. Sorry, a genius. I'm sorry, but she is a genius. Shout outs to her, man. I'm about to fight you. What is this? Bro, I just started the game. This dude is already having like OP minds. Cricketune. How do you have a um Knight already? I mean, not Knight. What's um yeah, Knight and a grad type and a ticky like mine. Reversing Cricketune, a Blast Pack, and a Corviknight. After a surprisingly tough battle against him, you're able to strike him down, and he starts to become delusional. You don't understand, Claire. What my father is doing is the right thing. Why can't you see that? Peter, please. I know you don't want this. Your father, our father, he doesn't care about you anymore. You were just another one of his assistants to him. Another perfect piece in his perfect plan for this world. Our father? Your mother and mine. Her name is Annie Palm. Annie? Peter seems upset before the Vice's visuals finally figure out, and he runs over to hug you. Claire, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. You and me were right all along. I should have listened to you. I can't believe that my dad would do such a thing. Peter, this is important. Can you remember what Wyatt is trying to do? He, he's trying to take over the region with the help of Tovalol. He's going to use Nina as a puppet, making her the ruler of the region, but with him as the one calling the shots. And th th there's something else, too, that I can't remember right now. Sorry. Well, mm -hmm. thanks, anyway. That's all I need to know. Now, let's save the region from getting brainwashed. Yeah. The two of you hug once more, and you make your way towards the destination of your final battle, the top of Mount Rickhouse. Plenty of vibrant cyber scientists standing your way as you climb up to the summit. And you and Peter send them off in a team up battle before you eventually reach the top, where you see Wyatt and the Vice of Nina standing 
like Claire, wait! Huh? You're surprised. I can hear your mother run up to you, panting as she does. I'm sorry, I just couldn't let you do this alone, Claire. Wyatt's got another thing coming if he thinks that he can lay a finger on my son. Oh. You don't keep a smile as he walks up to Wyatt and he turns around realization in his eyes. Huh. It's what? I'm calling you now. Why is the main character dead? I'm calling this now. That has to be the plot twist. You made a mistake when you dragged my kids into this. Your children. I'll have you know that I'm their father. I'm calling it. Alone for the past fifteen years because of your cowardice. Oh. That's not true. You're surprised as Peter takes the bullet. Oh. 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 Why didn't you tell me that player was my brother? Why didn't oh. you tell me that my mother was still alive? Oh. Your father lies to his own son. Whoa. Insane, Wyatt. Wyatt is slightly stunned. The thought he cracks a smile as he just gives that bullet. Oh, don't understand. What is this team? The drama looks like a Digimon. I forgot what I was thinking about. Zangu, Skarmory, Slayer was sent in Metaverse? Okay. Talking at the sea. I swear to God, if one of these are an alternate reality of each other, I'm gonna have to buy this game ASAP. ASAP. Let's see which one of us will 
You just made all the trash. I mean, you know what? Let me calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, Four fall breaks? Four fall breaks? <laughs> Bye, Nina. Hey, why didn't you say goodbye to me? I, I guess it is still rivals. Even after all of this, 
I don't know why I feel like my urges like burst. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my Lord! Oh my! Oh, oh my ears! Oh. Oh, <gasps> yo, this is like that one. Um, next to my, I forgot his name. Oh my god, he has a blitzy. I already hate him. I already hate him. I already hate this team. He has a blitzy. There's no actual way. A Heliolus. Who's this? A high dragon? He, oh. Sarah, Sarah, what? Why? Why? You're just like, I feel like you just want the player to suffer. All these OP teams, you need to relax. Oh, he's a true villain. Who is this guy? Hey. Is um, that look that really is unbelievable. Yeah, it's so wholesome. It's so wholesome. Oh my god. Y'all need to relax. Child, relax before I cry. Yo. Oh my god. Oh. I'll 
Right, what the <laughs> Yo, sorry, sorry, look. Can you like turn down these teams? Like what what's up with all these grunts, gym leaders having OP minds? Like what <laughs> Lincoln Rock, boom, Cork Crocodile. Rock, Crocodile. This cool lantern. Spirit Tomb which has no weakness besides fairy. And bit sharp. Hold on, hold on, Paul. Did you just say type covers moves? And this, um, so you're telling me this is Cynthia? This has to be Cynthia. This has to be the Cynthia of this game. Sailor, we can sigh of relief and smile for you. I see why Venom is chosen now. 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 I see why Venom is chos
before she looks over her shoulder towards the cave she made covered earlier, and just as the two beautiful women die, um, there goes nothing. Now the two of you are alone, she challenges you to a battle. Oh, this is only four kind of. Oh, mm, look at this scene. Shara is way too comfortable with these teens. Installing all of this tech here, so they're going to move it into your HQ instead. Sounds like you're already doing so a lot as the new boss of Cyber Labs. Well, a lot from the bank. I right. Right. Actually seems a little aloof, but she decides to shake the feeling off, and she pulls you into your next elite four battle. She has a drapey on. She has a drapey. I s oh my god. Sorry, I swear to god. This Scolipede has speed boost. Needle Queen and some two other mods. I'm actually not afraid of Needle Queen because I like Needle King better. That might be just me. <laughs> Without the boss of Cyberlabs is a big responsibility to play. Right, I'm, I'm going to preserve our original message. We'll be a company dedicated to promoting the harmony between trainers and Pokemon. I already have an idea for an item that does just that. It's called a Soothe Bell. When it's hit by a Pokemon, it will increase your friendship exponentially. How about it? Oh, so you're the person who made that. It's a great idea, Ashley. I'm sure it'll help out a lot of people in the future. Thanks for the support, Peter. But I was thinking, I should probably rebrand our company now that why it's gone. Mm -hmm. What do you think I should call it? You're asking me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, oh. how about after the mountains? Kipno Labs. Kipno Labs? That actually has a nice ring to it. We might be your mother have gone off somewhere. Dad is the fourth member? Oh, no way! No way! No way! A 
Apollo and his signature peak robe. After a powerful battle against Bob... <laughs> I mean, I'm not really scared of this team, but sure, can you relax? You're finally able to strike him down. You had the advantage, but you've never seen somebody so proud to lose a battle before. He's left speechless and simply hugs you, proud of how far you've come. After he lets you go, you nod, remembering what you need to do next. You head towards Callisto City and begin your climb up Mount Ratos once more. A road, a road to your victory, victory if you catch my drift. drift. Oh. Uh, just stop talking. I'm going to have my big moment right about now. Fine, I'll oh, shut up now. now. Don't blame me if you get bored after this. I'm not. Ugh, just shut up, okay? As you reach the top of the mountain, you can see you grab it and release it from the ball, and he runs out to look at the view. Yeah, nah. Well, I wouldn't say that. There's no fixing past mistakes. All that matters now is how we make up for those mistakes. By the way, your name isn't actually Benelis, is it? Tobol said your name was Liz to me. Would you rather be called that? Well, that's a good idea. Mm. Oops. After that fight with Lyrics, I think it opened my eyes to how selfish I was being. So I want to fix my mistake. Player, thank you for being my friend. I mean it. Hey, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's tradition for you to meet Dolores at this point, right? I think the best way to meet her is inside of a battle. So, how about it? Let's do this. You grin as Vernalus jumps out in front of you, and Nina gestures for Tokolo to do the same. And just like that, you're thrown into a battle of the game. Nina, okay. Okay. Uh, look, this is what we're not gonna do. No, actually, I take that back. It's not bad of a team. Oh, look at the um, um, um. What's that called? Is it, it's not your mega. Um, <laughs> I don't know the name. Wait, let me. I'm gonna search it up. Yeah, mega. It is your mega. Golduck, Medicium? I mean, that's not really that bad with a team like the others. Nina's final team, she uses her Golduck, the final form of the stuff is strong against yours, and her version of Yamiga, a Plankai, a Medicham, and the legendary Turtle Even though she's finally declared you a friend and not a rival, the battle is intense, as the two of you give it your all. You've been brought down to your- Uh, this is an epic battle! Both end up fainting each other. What?! It is in a time?! Oh no! Look, is it bad that I ship these two? Is it bad that I ship these two? Please tell me, please. Please, Shar, if you're watching this, please tell me. I need to know their ages, and if I'm wrong, I will take back whatever I said. She runs over to hug you, and you're a little startled before you smile and hug back. And as she lets go, she seems a lot happier now that she's able to express herself in a battle with a friend. The two of you take turns back to the battle, and then you raise them to guide together. Congratulations on your victory against Toho Wow. Hey player, did you have a nice sleep? It's pretty happy. So I hope you're fine. I'm fine. Thanks 
for technical <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mom wanted you for something. He's waiting outside, so... You've only been here one day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> don't embarrass me. I just saw that. Uh, never mind. You run out the room, I'm embarrassed, and you chuckle a little before getting up. You head outside to see that your mother is in the room. She smiles before she waves a letter in front of your face. A look of pride on her face. What's that you got? It's a letter from someone called Trent Astor. <laughs> 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 This dude never died. This dude never died. I'm calling it now. This dude never died. What the? Yo, Shara, what? Shara, really? What's up with you, man? What is up with these teams? How do you have a Lobotar, an Ursary, and a High Dragon? What? And this is not even his full team. Yo, this episode, bro! <laughs> At this rate, it might overload then. At this rate, you're putting yourself in danger. Oh, man! Bro! What is happening? What is happening? I just want to help this team. I remember what happened all those years ago. You abandoned us. You abandoned me. Oh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Yo, this region and games was crazy. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye.